Hi guys, welcome to the short video about the question why you should use the Capwing video editor. You probably know that I'm using the Capwing video editor since a couple of weeks, uh, I would say, yeah, about a month. And I've been reporting about a lot of problems and so you would think that I don't really like it and I would go back to uh, Cyberlink PowerDirect or something like that or even the Microsoft Movie Maker or whatsoever. And I've been trying a, a lot of different editors in the past, but I have to admit that I've decided to keep going with the Capwing video editor despite the fact that the Capwing video editor is probably the video editor which has the most bugs of any video editors I've ever used so far and so usually I would have stopped using it because sometimes it can be a real pain but I would say 90% of the cases or 90% of the time it's really working pretty fast and reliable but the main thing i've been thinking about that why uh, would i recommend to use the capping video editor and this is because now when i know that i have to edit a video that i'm actually looking forward to do the editing and before during all the years when i've been using cyberlink power director i have been uh, yeah, definitely not looking forward to do the editing. I, I, I hated it actually. I usually love to do the video recording, talking, even though I'm not good in English. I love to talk and provide information to other people, to help other people. But what I really usually don't like is the editing. But with the capping video editor, it has become a total different thing. And of course, it's mainly due uh, to the AI tools, I mean mainly it's, it's one thing, it's the smart cut. So you can mark a clip here and then click on smart cut and it's really working super fast and usually also very reliable even in the default setting so you don't have to do anything unless you're using a special camera or microphone which is super sensitive or not sensitive at all and you click on that and the whole clip will be almost instantly cut into so many parts uh, where you have all the uh, silent parts and usually the larger parts or the parts which you need so we can make this a little bit larger here so we can see the details so usually these small things here are just when i was doing something maybe hitting some object or so or not finishing the sentence so usually these things so without listening into these things you already know the smaller parts are usually the parts which you can just uh, click and hit the delete key and gone and usually the larger parts or the parts which you uh, have to use and usually the cuts are nicely done so usually you don't have to adjust like in the front in the back you can just take the whole part at least as long as you do and i would say a decent job during recording i mean i will do more videos about that uh, i will show you more details how it works the good stuff the bad stuff but this video is not about the details this is just uh, to give you some overview, some idea if it's really worth to look into that more in detail. Because the thing is, when you start with Capwing, everything is a little bit different. It's not like a normal editor, it's not comparable to Cyberlink Power Director or Microsoft uh, Movie Maker, something like that. It's totally, I mean, not totally different, but it's, it's quite different because it's an online editor. And so it can be a little bit exhausting, disappointing at the beginning. And then probably a lot of people are stopping using it, but I can definitely tell uh, it's worth it. I mean, you can try with the free version. That's the good thing. I think you can even do endless cutting and exporting with the free version, but of course it's limited, I think to 10 minutes and 720p or so. And probably there's also a watermark or so, so, so there's no way you can use that on YouTube or so. But uh, this is my recommendation. Just give it a try, look into that and maybe do even subscription. If you're planning to open an account, uh, just use the link down in the description of the video and this will help me to continue with my uh, videos here on YouTube and I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below. I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.